Ukoi cok. Ang jumlah berapa kah? Mato ke jumlah kah ni tiap jenis mana kah? Hei, mana pada bila kita cun ter kromedewi kapi kerai, somsu ter lalu lalu saya cakram serta mien lalu lalu saya cakram nama mien tang mien temu apa? Cang suara rasa saya rupanya dari tete, bukan bermain tom cuy. Và thông chí lưu dự cầm dòng mạc là với anh. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur Rokoff. Je suis le juge Lafergne. J'aurais quelques questions complémentaires pour faire suite à celles qui vous ont déjà été posées. Je voudrais tout d'abord qu'on revienne sur un épisode dont vous avez beaucoup parlé, qui est l'épisode qui se situe au, au ministère de l'Information. Est-ce que tout d'abord, pour permettre de, de localiser un petit peu l'endroit, vous pouvez nous dire où se trouvait ce ministère de l'Information Et ce que vous savez ici aujourd'hui, ce bâtiment existe toujours et ce qu'il contient Je vous remercie pour votre attention. Merci. 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 The building is still there. It was used as the Ministry of Information up until April 75. Uh, it's on the uh, boulevard that goes from the train station to the river. The street that's just north of the street 108. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how many hundreds of meters from the train station. Uh, Tous les événements dont on parle, euh, dont on a parlé ce matin, c'est dans un périmètre en fait, assez restreint euh, autour de l'ambassade de France, l'hôtel Le Pnom, le ministère de l'Information et l'hôtel où vous résidez. Est-ce que vous avez eu l'occasion d'aller euh, dans d'autres secteurs de la ville Est-ce que vous avez eu l'occasion d'aller dans d'autres secteurs de la ville Est-ce que la situation était la même qu'au nord Est-ce qu'il y avait des différences ตามเมียนเอาไว้พลายขณีเตอร์เวียงพลายมวยในพลายมวยในขนมตีกรงโนเป็นไงที่ where there was massive evacuation of hundreds of thousands of people moving towards the center of Phnom Penh because of the shelling from the other side of the river. The Khmer Rouge were approaching the bridge. Uh, on the 17th, as I said uh, in my earlier testimony, when I got a little way south of the Independence Monument, the troops, Khmer Rouge soldiers, headed north, were really dirty. And seen, uh, I, I did not uh, feel safe going any ដោយបានលើកឡើងថ្ងៃនេះថាមានអំពីសំខាន់ជាងទីI cannot answer if it was a problem, but it was uh, about midday as more and more people were headed out of the city. It was especially noticeable to me while detained by the Japanese bridge, the large number of people headed north along the highway. Uh, nobody smiling, very somber mood. It was not like in the first hour or two of liberation when there were many smiles. People were glad the war was over. 
the mood did change, but I would not say it was all of a sudden everywhere. Over a few hours. Monsieur Rokoff, avez-vous entendu Rokoff, parler de quelqu'un qui s'appelait Enket Dara, d'un mouvement qui s'appelait le Monacio, un mouvement nationaliste Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler de, de ces choses-là uh, uh, This movement I heard about afterwards, uh, sometime after leaving Cambodia, just through the writing of other journalists, and they were considered phony Khmer Rouge, not genuine. I believe there were some at the ministry early morning, but they did not seem to be in charge. At any rate, uh, they were easy to identify, they had good shoes on, the clothes were well-fitting, uh, they, they were too clean, too, uh, too healthy to have been out in the field. The, uh, none of these people were around that afternoon, or late afternoon when uh, Sidney Schoenberg, John Swain, and myself went to the Ministry of Information. None of these people were still there. Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que vous êtes allé une fois au ministère de l'Information ou deux fois au ministère de l'Information Le ministère de l'Information, est-ce que vous êtes allé le matin et l'après-midi ou que l'après-midi Je suis allé le matin et l'après-midi et l'après-midi. Both. I went in the morning as the first group of Khmer Rouge were rushing up the steps into the entrance with their weapons. And you can tell that was in the morning by the direction of the shadows in my photograph. And the shadow goes from east to west. And then the afternoon, late afternoon, after 4 o'clock, maybe around 5, uh, the shadow goes from the west to east. So, yes, I made two separate trips, two completely different reasons. The second trip to the ministry was because I was told to go there. Alors, précisément, est-ce que l'on vous a dit pour quelle raison précise vous deviez vous rendre au ministère de l'Information Probably told to Dith Pran, who told Sidney Schoenberg that we would be going to the ministry. At first, I was thinking we would have to walk, but a truck pulled up outside, and we were told to get in. So I assumed it was an arranged ride. Vous nous avez dit tout à l'heure que vous aviez eu l'impression que parmi les Khmer Rouges qui vous avez arrêté et qui vous détenez, certains avaient été en contact avec des supérieurs et c'était la raison pour laquelle vous avez été libéré. Et selon vous, ce sont toujours ces instances supérieures qui ont... Ordonnez que vous veniez au ministère de l'Information où c'était une initiative des gardes qui vous détenaient. Alors, je vous ai dit que je vous ai dit Well, I don't believe it would be the Khmer Rouge who initially arrested us at the Prekut Milia Hospital because there were obviously higher-ranking Khmer Rouge that they brought us to and had control of us under the Japanese bridge. Alors, je ne sais pas si l'unité audiovisuelle pourrait euh, repasser, montrer une, euh, une image que l'on a vue ce matin dans l'extrait de vidéo qui a été passé à la demande des procureurs, qui est euh, la vidéo de Pol Pot de Killing Ombres et qui est la cote D108 par 32.2R. Il s'agit d'une image qui apparaît à la minute 25 et 40. 
ដោយគ្នាសូមសាយសម្មួយសកុងវិនាទីបាទដូច្នេះសូម Alors, monsieur euh, le témoin, est-ce que euh, vous reconnaissez cette image et est-ce que vous êtes l'auteur de cette photographie Yes, I am. That is a photograph I took in the morning in front entrance to the Ministry of Information. Et donc, vous nous indiquez que cette photo a été prise dans la matinée et non dans l'après-midi. Correct. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous décrire en fait euh, ce qui se passe On voit priori, euh, des soldats euh, armés euh, qui, qui sont les, les civils que l'on voit sur la photo. Alors, je ne sais pas si vous avez vu la photo. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu la photo. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu la photo. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu la photo. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu la photo. Another thing I would like to point out, one of the people running up the steps, is the so-called uh, phony Khmer Rouge, the, the, the group that you mentioned. I said earlier that they all had good shoes on. This was not one of them. The others, the phony KR, were very well dressed. Alors, je précise que j'ai une communauté au parti qui a été au parti un certain nombre de photographies euh, euh, qui ont été retrouvées sur euh, le domaine public à partir euh, d'un moteur de recherche que je ne pas. Et euh, sur lequel, une photographie ah, sur laquelle on voit effectivement un peu plus largement euh, le, les lieux. Je souhaiterais que euh, cette photographie puisse être remise au euh, témoin. Il s'agit de la photo du numéro 4. Et éventuellement, que cette photo soit projetée également sur les écrans. Merci. 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 Je ne sais pas s'il est possible de montrer l'image sur les écrans. Voilà, est-ce qu'il serait possible d'avoir l'image en entier Là. La photo est de très mauvaise qualité. Est-ce Bah, nous avons tous les mêmes caractères, nous avons tous les mêmes caractères. Bah, donc, nous avons tous les mêmes caractères. Bah, donc, nous avons tous les mêmes caractères. Fondamental, si je dis que, euh, a priori, euh, la photo dans son entier fait apparaître le nom du ministère, du ministère de l'Information euh, au sujet de la porte d'entrée. Donc, vous nous confirmez que c'est bien la photo que vous avez vue ce soir. Donc, vous nous confirmez que c'est bien la photo que vous avez vue ce soir. Donc, vous nous confirmez que c'est bien la photo que vous avez vue ce soir. 
I recognize it as the photograph I took, although it is not the complete photo. It's been cropped considerably. Part of the photo that I took was cut down, and the reproduction is not good. But yes, it is from my original photograph. Can I put that camera to score? Can I get a look at the camera and hold it, man? Tout à l'heure, vous nous avez dit que vous, vous aviez rencontré, eu l'occasion d'encontrer un ministère de l'Information, quelqu'un qui s'appelait Salad et qui vous avait parlé de son frère. Et si je vais comprendre, il vous avait dit que son frère, c'était Salad Sa. Vous connaissez bien M. Salad Sa. Vous connaissez bien M. Salad Sa. Vous connaissez bien M. Salad Sa. Fortunately, we never met. His brother, I never talked to. This was common knowledge at the Ministry of Information that, as just as in the American Civil War, many families were split up, brother against brother. And Salad Chai just commented on his brother would be coming to town soon. Was something that was repeated by some of the Cambodian assistants and. Photographers, and I believe at the time he had no idea of the importance of his brother. I mentioned that because he, in the exodus out of Phnom Penh, he was one of the many people lost. To him, his brother was only a commander, and he did not realize the importance. ตาสลดชายนั้นก่อนมีนักกิจวัตรที่ออฟฟิเชียลขณะที่กองทัพนักการเมืองได้รับตำแหน่งที่ตำแหน่งที่ตำแหน่งที่ตำแหน่งที่
But the tragedy of the woman who was told her husband can stay 10 or 15 minutes after he walked out the gate. ແລະຄືມັນຄືສິກຸສີມັນ <coughs> 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 I'm sure there were more than one, more than the one case I observed. I personally observed on the truck I was to go on. Young Khmer Rouge was supposed to count the number of people on the truck, 24 people per truck. And the Khmer Rouge was counting, counting, and he counted 25. And this Frenchman with his uh, well, wife, girlfriend, I'm not sure, but anyways, uh, he, she was traveling with him. He, he understood what was about to happen. He jumped off the truck, walked to the other side, the young Khmer Rouge did the count again. He counted 24, he walked to the second truck, started counting. That was the last we saw of him, and the Frenchman got back on the truck. So we had 25 people. Nobody ever counted again. That's one, one life that was played a trip. Est-ce que, euh, à votre connaissance, bah, bah, certaines personnes de nationalité étrangère euh, ont été bah, exclues euh, du plan d'évacuation Est-ce que l'évacuation euh, a concerné absolument tout le monde Et en particulier, avez-vous le bloc communiste Yes, the East Germans were forced out of their embassy at uh, gunpoint by the Khmer Rouge, sent to the French embassy, and they were very upset at the conditions. Also, they had to give up their uh, cases of gourmet food and pate and sausage and all, put into the common food stock. They were very, very bitter. And a lot of us were laughing at them about their attitude. Uh, but they had to leave most of their food in the common food store for all of us. We had a very socialized kitchen arrangement for three weeks. Uh, if there are any other diplomats that came in, uh, they did not end up in the Chancellery building with the rest of us journalists and others that were staying there. They might have gone directly to the other part of the embassy. But I remember how angry the East Germans were because they flew in specifically for the victory. And they were not invited. Yes, I think that the Khmer Rouge refugees in the Ambassador of France have been forced to leave the Khmer Rouge. ສະຖານທູດບາຣັງໃນຕອນຂອງຄວາມຈັດຈະຈັ່ງປີສະຖານທູດນໍ້ຕາອານຍາທໍບາຣັງໃນປີນູ້ຕອນບົກກະລຶ
Moving through the embassy compound searching for illegal scared people. And so many of them may have left thinking uh, their safety in numbers and not wanting to be caught there alone. I cannot answer what motivated them, but there were threats. Est-ce que parmi les personnalités politiques de la République de Noël, qui s'est en France, vous en avez vu certains être reconduits par la force par des gendarmes français à l'extérieur de l'ambassade française I was not present when Sisawa Sarikmatak was forced out. I cannot answer what the scene was like. Tout à l'heure, vous avez parlé du départ et également vous avez entendu des coups de feu à un certain moment et que par la suite, il a été évoqué le fait que certains de ces réfugiés seraient allés dans un complexe portuaire qui est à Kia, dans Kia, Kaila, qui est à Borai Kaila. Ta Borai Kaila, non, 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 non. The one that is directly north of the French embassy, right by it. I don't know the name of it, I'm sorry. Sauf erreur de ma part, je crois qu'aujourd'hui, ça s'appelle le vieux stade. Je crois que c'est le vieux stade. Quand vous dites que vous avez entendu des coups de feu, c'était longtemps après le départ de ces réfugiés cambodgiens. Vous avez écouté ce qu'il dit le nombre de quels souvenirs vous avez entendus. Not an excessive amount of gunfire. A few shots, a burst of two or three, a few individual shots, and a burst a few seconds later of a bunch. But it was not unusual in bad weather, black clouds, dark storm clouds, and it was starting to drizzle rain. It's not unusual to fire. Up into the sky, chases away the bad weather. That happens often. And I thought it was not going. They weren't shooting up into the sky. I couldn't figure out what they were shooting at, except for the ominous thought that hundreds of Khmer had just left the embassy within the past hour, and now they're shooting. I mean, you could hear shooting in other parts of. Uh, uh, and going up to a week after the fall no, of but this at the sports complex is very unusual. Uh, and uh, 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 Monsieur le témoin, il y a eu, semble-t-il, certains malentendus, puisque uh, on aurait dû vous uh, donner un peu plus tôt de venir uh, avec un certain nombre de photographies uh, que vous avez fait des événements, et malheureusement, ça n'a pas été fait tout ça tombe de vos photos qui sont assez connues et qu'on peut retrouver également sur l'internet. C'est la raison pour laquelle je vais demander à ce qu'on puisse projeter sur les écrans de vos remèdes également ces photos pour que vous nous disiez si vous en êtes l'auteur ou non et que vous puissiez éventuellement les commenter si cela est pertinent. Donc je souhaiterais tout d'abord que l'on présente les photos de vos photographes. Nhưng các thầy miền rục thọ chúng mình buôn, các thầy nông nông miền mũi, đại dương bàn bằng hai, hai hai cao được rộng mến, cư chìa rục thọ, đại dương thọ, đại lục bàn thọ, nâu một cơ xuống có xa nạc cả lục bà thiết, nhâm xong ảnh nhạt, bắt đầu lại xa, bắt đầu rục thọ, nâu xa xây lục bà thiết. Ảnh nhạt.
Voilà. Serait-il possible de montrer sur l'écran la première photo Il s'agit d'un nouveau document, puisque document qui le seul à l'huissier d'audience pour qu'il euh, puisse euh, être présent à l'audience. Il y a des premières photos qui nous ont présentées à un jeune soldat sur l'épaule un fusil. Il y a des premières photos qui nous ont présentées à un jeune soldat. Est-ce que le service technique dit voilà donc, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire s'il si s'agit bien d'une de vos photographies et nous dire euh, que représente cette image Est-ce Possibly late 73. Uh, it's on the road between Highway 5 and Nam Baset. It's a young soldier carrying an M16 American rifle. It's an artificial flower. Uh, it's a wire stem that he's stuck in the uh, front of his weapon. It's not on his head. You can see it's attached to his weapon. Alors, peut-être pourrions-nous passer à la photo suivante qui montre également donc, euh, un jeune soldat euh, qui tient une arme qui puisse justement montrer cette image. Comment est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si c'est bien d'une de vos photographies Voilà, donc, même question, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous venez où et quand et qui est représenté sur cette photo Il est en train de se faire un peu de temps, il est en train de se faire un peu de temps. C'est un soldat de l'Ontario. Je vous remercie de l'Ontario. Je ne sais pas exactement où je l'ai pris, mais je l'ai pris en 1974. Je l'ai pris en 1974. Vous nous avez dit ce matin que vous aviez noté que euh, les, les victimes de, de cette guerre, dans les deux côtés, vous aviez relevé que les soldats étaient parfois extrêmement jeunes. Et, euh, est-ce que vous avez une idée à peu près de, de l'âge du, du soldat qui est sur cette image Si vous en avez une idée. Maybe 16, 17. I doubt if he's older than 18. Nous allons passer à une troisième photo qui représente une scène de rue. Et si elle peut être montrée à l'écran, je pense que ça serait également utile. Voilà, donc euh, est-ce que vous êtes l'auteur de bah, cette photographie et vous pouvez nous dire ce qu'elle représente et en particulier les personnages que l'on voit sur le côté gauche de, de la rue et sur le trottoir I took this photograph on 17 April, uh, late morning. 
I do not know who the person is. Hands up on the sidewalk in the white shirt is. Anyway, this is on Bonnie Vong. It's headed south. We're only uh, two blocks or so from the intersection of Sina and Bonnie Vong. The uh, large building uh, ahead of the Khmer Rouge, that's the movie theater that you see in the background of another photograph of the Khmer Rouge soldiers standing up. Uh, I, I can only assume the Mondo soldier on the Vespa scooter was just very shocked at uh, the appearance of the KR, he surprised. In fact, he should not have been out there on the street like that. We walked past and uh, stayed at the intersection for the next uh, half an hour or so. Uh, and uh, the intersection for the next maybe 45 minutes. That's where the huge pile of weapons that were confiscated were at. That's where I saw the soldiers being marched by towards the direction of the local stadium. And this soldier, of course, the Khmer soldier is barefoot. I was uh, walking with a group of about a dozen, and I managed to uh, walk a little to the left and get behind uh, this guy in the midst of them, and that's how I was able to take this photo. I'm, so, I'm sorry these are not good prints. I really regret not having my own. Like some of the prints, like the Ministry of Information photo, was very bad reproduction. Uh, the original prints are much better, but my problem is I don't have an extra set with the uh, print. Quand nous regardons cette photo, on a l'impression que le soldat qu'on voit sur le côté droit est un soldat qui allait être tout seul dans la rue. Était-il tout seul ou il faisait-il partie d'un groupe de soldats He was part of a group. There were at least a dozen in this group I was walking with. You can't see them. If you saw the contact sheet of all the frames on the roll of film, you would see how the event proceeded. You would see the earlier shots. You would see where I moved into position to get this. Most of my photographs, I pre-visualized and put myself into position to wait till the time. So I was very uh, lucky that they had no problem with me walking in their midst. Another thing, I would not I want to be standing around on a street corner by myself and have people bothering. Uh, if you're walking with some soldiers, the other soldiers, the other Khmer Rouge think you're with them. If I'm riding on a vehicle because I hitched a ride, nobody's going to bother me because they think I'm with the people in the vehicle, which is true. And I was very lucky getting around for the first few hours that way. And then things changed completely when I was taken from the Kelman Hospital. Sorry, the uh, Prekat Milia Hospital. Movement was uh, coming to a halt. People were being told to leave the city. Uh, there was no more movement around Nam Pen on the part of journalists. J'aimerais qu'on passe maintenant à une dernière série de, de photographies. Je ne sais pas si elles ont pu être remises au côté moyen de l'exposition pour pouvoir les projeter sur les écrans. Il s'agit des photographies qui ont été tirées du bureau des procureurs par les des commentaires qui figurent vous concentrez uniquement sur les photographies pour nous dire si effectivement ce sont bien vos photographies qui ont été tirées du bureau des procureurs par les commentaires qui figurent vous concentrez uniquement sur les photographies pour nous dire si effectivement ce sont bien vos photographies qui ont été tirées du bureau des procureurs Étant précisé que seuls euh, nous intéressent cet après-midi les photos bah, actuellement attribuées à M. Arokov euh, dans, dans le, le document en question. Euh,
và chân xong lục mơ ta rút bàn hai công bạch mơ chậm nà nơi lưu nâng ca thật bài nơi lưu nâng Voilà, donc il y a une première photo où euh, ce que tu veux dire de, de, quoi, de quoi il s'agit Est-ce que vous êtes bien l'auteur de cette photographie That is my photograph. I took that on 12 April 1975. This is the site of the U.S. Embassy evacuation. That is not the embassy in the background. This is just the open field used for it. These are Marines that are part of the perimeter security, security around the edge of the area. And they would have helicopters come in and pick up people. And in the very last lift of helicopters, these Marines got into the I have many other photos of the uh, evacuation. This, this is, of course, one of my favorite. I have photos showing the helicopters and people getting on. Other things are going on. S'agissant de cette évacuation d'une façon plus générale, est-ce que vous souvenez qu'il y a eu des consignes à l'égard de tous les étrangers, les ressortissants américains, pour quitter le pays Et est-ce que vous souvenez de consignes non seulement des autorités américaines, mais éventuellement de consignes qui ont été données par ce qu'on appelait le FUNC, par les autorités américaines rouges I don't know. I can't answer that. I mean, we heard the American evacuation was imminent. It happened soon. I would say most Americans were aware of what was about to happen. But on the Cambodian side, there were many Khmer that should have evacuated. Maybe some who did not evacuate did not get the message in time. Because the last uh, lift of helicopters, the last four or five helicopters that lifted off from the field were uh, very few people on it. The Marines and very few other people. Many Khmer showed up at the embassy, French embassy days later, or maybe came to the Hotel Royale in the next five days. Uh, they, they would have evacuated, but did not know. Avancer un peu plus, c'est je pense que l'avancer jusqu'à la photo suivante qui vous est attribuée, qui peut être la cinquième photo, si je ne me trompe pas, sur ce document. Si on peut également projeter cette photo sur l'écran. Non, alors, ça doit être la photo suivante. Voilà, donc êtes-vous l'auteur de cette photographie, M. Elrokov Et euh, pouvez-vous nous, nous donner quelques renseignements sur ce qu'elle représente Oui, c'est ma photographie. At the intersection of Mani Vong and Sihanouk Boulevard, the pile of weapons got very big over the next half hour or so. These are young kids that were pressed into service by the Khmer Rouge to help collect the weapons. 
et qui étaient ces jeunes enfants C'était des jeunes enfants de 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 I feel they were just ordinary kids on the streets. There were many, many, many kids, homeless kids in Phnom Penh. I, these are too young to even be government soldiers. They're, not, they're, they're just pressed into service. And I hesitate to use the word school children because the majority of children have no school to go to. Voilà, nous allons avancer jusqu'à l'avant-dernière photo de, de ce document. Je souhaiterais également qu'elle puisse être projetée sur les écrans. Voilà, donc M. Alokov, êtes-vous également l'auteur de, de cette photo et vous pouvez nous la décrire Uh, that is my photograph that is in front of the French Embassy. That is the gate that used to be at the French Embassy, people climbing over. The Red Cross vehicle, which uh, was pushed, they had gas, but the point is uh, the commanders don't want you driving. They'll let you push it. And you see all of this stuff in the vehicle. That vehicle was pushed from the Hotel Royale up to the French Embassy, the Red Cross. Uh, Vehicle. And that is very late. It's it's quite dark. I mean, it's dimmer than it appears in the photograph. The smoke in the background uh, is from an oil storage depot north of Phnom Penh that the Khmer Rouge set on fire the day before. Donc, on peut voir la. La hauteur donc du euh, des murs et, et, et du portail de l'ambassade de France, ils sont effectivement apparemment beaucoup moins hauts qu'aujourd'hui. Ils étaient faciles à escalader. Les autorités en l'ambassade de France vous ont paru être complètement dépassées par la situation ou est-ce qu'il y avait un accord pour que les gens puissent rentrer ອັນມັນມັນຮຸນຈາມຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະຈະ
flowers. No, this is not at the French Embassy. This was some time before the fall of Phnom Penh. Uh, this is a Monol soldier who was shot in the head. He was brought to the Olympic Stadium where the emergency hospital had been set up and there were treating many, many hundreds of people on the basketball courts and so forth. Uh, I photographed this person being worked on. The wounded uh, person was shot in the forehead. And, uh, the doctors were working on him. I have a picture when they pulled the plug on the uh, suction device to drain his breathing tube and he died. And uh, this is his widow. This is about uh, 20 minutes after he died. So I, I took a series of shots leading up to this. Uh, the the ban slap ម្ភៃនាទីនេះហើយទៅ <coughs> 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 Maybe a month or two before April. This was not at the fall. This was sometime before. The final offensive by the Khmer Rouge started January. Uh, there were temporary facilities set up in many parts of the city to include uh, expanding the facilities at the Olympic Stadium. They took many this is not to be confused with the wounded government soldier that was in the French embassy after the 17th. Those are other photos of the soldier that I took. In the first place, les réfugiés qui venaient entrer à Phnom Penh ont-ils été traités de façon particulière par les autorités cambodgiennes les autorités ហើយគាត់ទីនេះគឺមានដីស្គីសូនហ៊ុនដែនស្គីសូនហ៊ុនដែនស្គីសូនហ៊ុនដែនស្គីសូនហ៊ុនដែនស្គីសូនហ៊
rồi. Nơi về nó, nhưng mình bạn cứ bị bắn hàm xa nụ tế. Đói xa tài bắn hàm nụ sự thó. Mùi chùm nụ nó cứ dừng khơi thà kê bàn đã bỏ ta tạm chua phơi chia đầy bàm cương nàn nàn tạm 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 nà. Lâu đại dương Tây Tam, cứ Tây Tam phẳng cao phần nông bà sát. Hồi giờ cứ dựng cả lãnh đại dương phòng thời ca. Chỉ tu tớ không ai khóm nên cái bình mơ phản tí tí cái chi tớ tàng ở đó. Dương là vấy đẹp nhưng mà chờ nằm bán nó cứ thà phần nông bà sát. Dương là vấy đẹp nhưng mà chờ nằm bán nó cứ thà phần nông bà sát. Không ai cả hôm bà 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 b Hồi vì chỉ lưu vì tầm đập tài lan chân để đại chỉ bán. Hồi mai cửa hôn cứ cứ tha về khóa tư nhân cơ nhân miên. Còn mến lăng lượt đảm chơ hồi ở vừa cả tiên chơ làm bây vừa ở lưu. Thì ba, hồi giờ lâu nó cứ bị khá tới cửa lục chứ đâu nè, nó cũng rồi đâu vừa xa. Rồi chứ nè, lan cứ bị khá tới mà nó chỉ cho ba nội tế, rồi chứ nè, hỏi cứ dừng bị khá cho lùi tập phòng lại. Nhưng ông kết thà, nhưng ông kết thà, nó cũng rồi đâu vừa xa, nó tôi bây chìa chứ đâu dần nào đó, bị khá tới cửa thà, nhưng ai cũng lùi tập chứ đâu cho ba dương khơi thà phía trán nó cứ mai cả hòm nó bê nó bao phơi đi mùi được dạng bê phong đài khi mình khơi bị chia chôn tế nó bê để chi tam phơi nóng hay mình khơi bị chia chôn tàng vuông tàng vuông tế nhưng ban chia lại bị môn rồi mặc hơi nhưng mình ban khơi kê cặp sầm lập để chia chôn nó khơi sầm nhà na mũi đại mặc hai mươi ca cặp sầm lập tế nhưng còn mình ai biết là mình ai thông khơi đại cái đó tại vì thà thông tin chặt sắp đại tại vì khơi sờ hơi không ai cả hòm nó bên nó có mình miên cả thân sầm ba hơi vậy để kê chọn bán cứ tham mò và xong và vậy chuột tại phần nông miên không ai cả hòm mua chìm luôn tôi nó cứ tha cứ cột bàn rồi chia ra cam ăn bị bạc mai hòm nó cứ mai cam ăn bạc mai hòm rồi chia ra Tôn Tỷ Hiên, mai của hôm đại thái, chết tại mô, rô chôn bò đợt tê. Khi nhóm ở chỗ nơi tam phơi lá đá, hỏi khi nhóm ăn mơ khơi thà miên bị chia chôn, mà phải bay nẹ nơi lờ làn, hỏi ở bếc lá tơ, khi mà cửa hôm nó gây hai cái rọc hoa rọc hoa hoa cho ôn một nhóm hay hai đôi giờ khóc khóc cho một nhóm hai sự điền chăng hay cứ miên bọc cô một một nẹt nó cái thà lọt vào ca nơi sân thai kia lơ rồi giá hay cọt cọt nhóm hay nó bị đẹp nhóm mưa quạt tới quạt hà cứ quạt quạt nhóm bật tay quạt nhưng na cái đó cứ quạt mình mọc chết nhóm nổi tê và chia sẻ mình chung ba hai cái ta lột lột tay chặt rồi dư nhầm gì đấy mình chung kết hợp nhầm ba tay bài hơi miên bộ đồ mình nhẽ nó một chất nhóm nó hơi bộ quạt một đồ mình nhẽ nó cứ tham bị giật nó quạt mua dạng nào có màu gì cái đằng thằng quạt nó quạt cái nhóm cứ ní chia bật bị sọt mua đây đại nhóm bàn khơi hơi bộ đồ mình nhẽ đại thà quạt cái nhóm nó cứ cái nhóm mình đại khơi quạt tiệt tê Vous avez fait partie du premier ou du deuxième convoi qui est parti de Voilà, est-ce que vous m'entendez M'entendez-vous Oui. Je... 
Je vous demandais si vous êtes fait partie du deuxième convoi qui était parti dans l'ambassade de France à destination de la Thaïlande. Vous avez dit que la deuxième convoi était parti dans l'ambassade de France. Est-ce que les journalistes avaient reçu des consignes particulières de ne pas parler de ce qui se passait à Pompey Tu as été en train de faire des choses qui se passaient à Pompey Tu as été en train de M'entendez-vous Je vais vous demander si vous saviez s'il y avait eu des consignes données aux journalistes de ne pas écrire d'articles de presse pour éviter votre difficulté par rapport à l'opération de la Pen Pen. Je vais vous demander si It's my understanding that there was a self-imposed embargo on stories about this situation in the borders that was imposed, self-imposed by the journalist on the first con first convoy. They would hold back on the stories about the French embassy, the foreigners here, until the second convoy. I don't know the politics of who violated violated it first, but there were some journalists that jumped the gun and did stories before the second convoy got out. When the second convoy got to the Thai border, I think most of the stories had already been written and already out there. But the only word we had about the journalists getting out was brief mention on BBC. We thought, good, if they got out, chances are we're going to get out also. So it was just a matter of waiting a few days till the trucks got back. But that was good news hearing on the BBC that the first group got out, but there was mention of an embargo until the uh, second or the last of the foreigners got out. Je vous remercie beaucoup, Monsieur le Témoin, de vous avoir apporté cette information. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions.
បាទហើយមុននឹងសម្រាក់ឲ្យមិនសូមសួរទៅក្រុមវិទ្យាការពាក្យក្តីពីពួកដល់ពេលស្អែកនេះគឺដល់ពេលវេលាដែលអង្គ